morning, my name is Jackie Cabish, and I'm so excited to be telling you about the uh, uh, painting by Eugene Louis Baudin, Le Havre, a, uh, the basin of the river Ur, um, uh, it, which has formed a harbor here. And um, we're very excited about this painting being added to our collection because it is at this point in 2013 our first and only Impressionist painting. So we have a continuation of the Dutch traditions that were begun in the 1600s with the low horizon, the realism in the condition of the ships, and these many of these may be uh, ships that have been uh, 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 abandoned here and uh, or being refurbished. And so we have the harbor of men here in a boat with a little Dutch red cap on, and we have uh, uh, a ship that has been beached over here, possibly simply because of the low tide. And we have this wonderful concern with the people in the picture, our everyday people going about their work, fishermen and sailors. And, uh, uh, and we have a very kind of um, relaxed or uh, a casual view of the harbor. In this case, the new invention and the new contribution that this style of Impressionism about 200, 250 years later after the Dutch is that artists are now working with beautiful color. And instead of trying to get the exact detail, every exact detail of the ship and the water and so forth, they are working on, a, um, on an impression of the scene. So the scene is like a, a, a uh, very, very quiet morning on a calm, calm day where there's no wind. And maybe early in the morning as the sun is coming up, we, we begin to see that gray, foggy morning beginning to sparkle with color, a little bit of spots of yellow, a little bit of spots of, of peachy orange here, tints of orange. And we see the water, we see the light from that rising sun here reflecting on the water. So we have a moment in time when the gray and the dark of the night is being dissipated by the sun rising. And that is not suggested with a big swash of orange through the painting, but rather by little soft light brush strokes that give us a sense of the scratchiness of the backside, the, the shadowy side of the night and the fog, and then the warm light coming up um, at the uh, uh, in the distance behind the harbor. Uh, Eugene uh, Louis Baudin was uh, a little bit older than even uh, Claude Monet and was his friend. And he encouraged even Claude Monet to go out and paint outdoors. So Baudin was one of the first painters to paint what we call in, the, in a uh, uh, term plain air or outdoors, um, which was very uh, difficult to do because you couldn't go down to the store and buy little tubes of paint. Artists produced all their own materials. They made their own brushes. They ground their own colors. So it, it, it happens to be that this late 1800 period coincides with the development of the tin uh, tube, much like our toothpaste tubes. And artists were able to mix their paints ahead of time, put them in those tubes, and then carry them with them with relative ease out onto the site and paint while they were set up there right on the site. So it's a big step forward in a kind of realistic sense of painting because artists were there as the scene was changing. And they had a mechanism, this uh, spotty uh, visible brush strokes that would allow them to suggest this. And we see the light here along, the peachy light right along the edge of the uh, masts here as they are beginning to catch that light. And uh, we are very pleased to have this painting in our, uh, in our collection. and. Uh, uh, we thank the Nelson Maritime Arts Foundation for their uh, loan of it and for their collecting it for the museum. And uh, we hope many, many people will be able to enjoy it here at the Channel Islands Maritime Museum in Channel Islands Harbor.